What's up guys, so today I have a new lens with me and I just wanted to share an unboxing video here. I uh, just wanted to make this quick little video uh, explaining how I select what lenses would be right for me and what lens I should really get. Um, and it's gonna last me, you know, over the time, over five to 10 years, because your lenses will maintain the value as long as you keep them in a good shape. They will last you almost like over five years mi at minimum. Um, currently, I am shooting on my 24 to 70 Zeiss. Uh, for Sony E-mount. Uh, I've been using that for over three years now or four years now, over four years. Um, and this lens has been amazing. Um, this was my first lens I got for Sony. Um, actually, I got this lens when I used to rent out the bodies. Um, I didn't even have an actual body because I knew that the body's value would come down. Uh, eventually, I did buy the R2. Um, then I sold that to get A7 Mark III. Uh, then I got another one of that, so I've um, been using this lens primarily for full video and something that has base range um, that I need to shoot over aperture 4, 4.0. Um, so yeah, so basically right now I'm shooting at f4. It's kind of a little bit zoomed in, it's not the widest lens out there. 24 millimeters is still good enough for a lot of different things, vlogging as well, but um, at times it just becomes a little bit more zoomed in and I would like something that's a bit wider. I do have a 14 millimeter Rokinon at 2.8, but that lens does go super wide. So uh, it does give a lot of distortion on the edges as well. So today I have my 20 millimeter from Sony 1.8. Um, so yeah, let's just unbox this and check it out. Here we have it. So you can see some B&H packaging stuff here. Uh, I need this. A lot of this stuff. It is a peak time of coronavirus, so I'm not sure if this is infected or not. But just to be safe, I won't be touching my face. Yeah. So let's let's see how that goes. Uh, so here's the lens, as you can see here. Or I should take it out. Of the So as you can see here, I have the 20 millimeter 1.8 G. It's not GM, but it's just G. Uh, I'm not sure if this is made by Zeiss, but um, it is Sony E-mount specifically. So uh, for full frame, so it will give good quality. The focus will be good. Um, so far, the reviews I did see are not bad actually either. So uh, primarily, I'm going to be using this on a gimbal or for vlogging or for any wide shots even some shooting something like this might just become easier because now i have a lens that can shoot a bit wider without minimum uh, distortion at least not too much or not too zoomed in either so yeah let's open it up so this is a standard standard packaging almost every sony lens has of course, I'm not the first one to unbox this. There's been many, many um, other reviewers out there who got this camera pre-production um, style, but I believe this was one of the first ones that they shipped it out. So here we have um, more paperwork that honestly you never need unless something goes wrong with your lens. Within a year, you can return it. Um, but here mainly we have lens. So first thing to notice is that it does come in uh, kind of like a leathery, I don't know if it's actual leather, but it kind of comes in this little pouch and um, so you can use that to carry your lens and stuff. One thing I did notice is Sigma lenses are much better um, because their little cases are a lot better. So yeah, so this is one of those Sigma pockets or the pouches or whatever you want to call it the case for the lens and it's actually built much better it has a zipper um, it has a top padding bottom padding and if you get one of their lenses that are more expensive i believe if you go over a thousand bucks or if they're heavier like the 85 millimeter 1.4 i have from sigma it also comes with you know a strap over it so a lot more quality wise just put into the case of this thing but 
to give props to Sony, um, this is pretty nice as well. Um, and honestly, I don't use them as much because there's always padding in my backpack where I put all these lenses and they're usually safe. But um, if you do want to use this, it's also a great option. Um, so we got the lens in some styrofoam here. And here's the beauty. Um, let's put it down like this. Um, and then we obviously have the lens hood at the bottom. Um, so they do have some padding on the bottom, which I believe didn't have for um, my Sony 24-70 to Zeiss, Carl Zeiss lens. Um, but yeah, so this is mainly all there's in the box. I don't think there's anything else. Yeah, so that's about all the stuff that they have. Let me just put this here. So... So here's the hood. Um, one thing I do notice about these Sony um, lens caps is that they kind of tend to wore, wear out over time, um, like this as well. Um, it's kind of harder to um, actually drill them down. But another good thing about this lens is that, so the filter size is 67 millimeter on this lens, which is a really nice thing. Uh, one, because my lens right here that I'm shooting on is also 67 millimeter um, filter size. Uh, another lens that shares the same uh, filter size is my 35 millimeter from Sigma, which is 1.4 and it's also at 67 millimeters. So um, using one of my uh, ND filters um, really works out great so that I don't have to go out and buy different things. Um, so uh, yeah, just a couple things here. They have a click on and off, which I think is for, actually it's for the aperture ring we have here. So we have an aperture ring on the bottom and then we have a focus ring at the top. Um, there's no zoom ring obviously because it's a prime lens at 20 millimeters. So you have this click on and off thing right here, which basically um, would determine if this aperture ring makes any noise or not. Um, just so that I just want to show how it feels. So, so this is the click noise that uh, you would be getting. Um, it's kind of actually pretty satisfactory, um, but. If you are shooting video and you want to use this, just turn it off and it goes nice and smooth as well. So um, I kind of like that. I mean, it's a feature I didn't have to add, um, but it's nice. And then also another thing I really like about my Sigma lenses is they have an autofocus and a manual focus um, switch on the lens built itself. It's really good to just, you know, punch in on the lens uh, if you want to shoot manual focus and then boom, there you go. You have your focus locked on so that's one of the features that i really like and um let me just put on the hood here let's see how it works so yeah so there's the hood uh it has a pretty nice feeling to it um it's not like the typical um sony hoods um, um but you also have another button which i do believe is customizable um, so you can change this button to um, any specific settings and it'll do that for you and um, obviously i'm going to put this on and try it out so all right so right now we're shooting at 3.5 aperture at about 125th of um, one second's shutter speed um, at I believe it's 30p or 60p right now. I'm not quite sure, uh, but the ISO is around 800, and this is much wider than what you saw before. And you can see how this is about. I mean, it's longer than my arm length away, and quite surprisingly has a huge view around of it. So um, that's one of the things that I really like about this lens is it has a kind of like a perfect range for everything and um, you can see a smile on my face because this lens is coming out to be great and um, I believe like this will be the lens that I'll be using for the most times out there and yeah so everyone who's um, pre-ordered these are getting them at their houses right now so I just wanted to say uh, if you did order this lens um, leave me a comment down below how do you like it uh, if you would like to get it uh, let me know what other questions you have um, I will be doing more review on this lens and how it works uh, obviously there's tons of videos out there that you might be able to find um, from my other fellow youtubers and from there on 
you know you can figure out if this lens is really for you at the time being i think i really love this lens so uh, that's it for today i hope you guys liked this video and if you liked it please make sure to like share and subscribe uh, i'll see you guys in the next video